lot of other things that are sure. taking up a lot of the time too. Well, I think a lot of times um, uh, your priorities get out of whack a lot of times and you don't realize how much time you haven't spent on doing things that really relate to God. It's hard. We're a very busy mm -hmm. society and we have a lot of distraction and a lot of demands. I uh, have a few things. We're, we're not going to get through very much here compared to what we set out to do, but a gifted child. There, there are personalities, a shy, quiet mm -hmm. child, a, an aggressive child, uh, loud and aggressive, undisciplined, mm -hmm. uh, a child who we don't know at the time may not seem to be that bright or that gifted, maybe just average or maybe low average, maybe is going to mature, mm -hmm. remembering the story of Einstein, who they thought wasn't really going to be Takes able to handle time. high school yeah. when he was 14. But have you come across a gifted child, a very bright mm -hmm. child? Absolutely. What, what's been your experience with that child? And then I'll ask you too, the, the child who's on the lower end. Sure. Um, early on, maybe coming into kindergarten, already reading, doing things like that, and also mature. Um, not only having readiness skills, um, but also uh, social skills too. They're, uh, they're as, as hard to handle sometimes, I think, as the, the child that needs more work with his skills. Um, I think you have to individualize and still make, interest, make learning interesting for them. It's difficult to, to say exactly with um, a, a kindergarten environment what would be allowed as far as bringing different things into the room for a, 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 a very advanced child as the same thing with the, the child that's not as, um, not progressing as, as well. A lot of schools now do have programs where the child co goes out of the classroom and they do special work with computers and creativity learning, as does the same with a child that needs more work, goes out with special needs teachers that would do some reinforcement and review work. So, so I there's think a very it, bright child isn't bored. It, right, exactly. There's a balance, I think, that um, if you make things interesting enough for them, I think they'll be able to still find something. Can you do that within, like, what size is your class now? I have a very small class this year. I have 14. Oh. Although I have had 24 in the past, which is 10 more bodies, of mm. course. Um, you try to, inv indiv to individualize as, as often as possible. Um, I think if you're really clued in on what the child's interests are, then in small groups that you can make, in your classroom, I think the child still can find something to do and, and stimulate his learning just as, as much as he would be stimulated outside the classroom. Now, sometimes do you have parents with, you know, sort of unrealistic expectations for the child and, and they're mm. disappointed because they're not doing what they think that they should be or capable of, you know? Um, like I don't know if we've had any that have had some unrealistic expectations. Um, I think when they come in um, early on, when we do the preschool screening, they do have an orientation as well then, and they know what the kindergarten is, is equipped with and what we're set up, what, what we're setting out to do, we will do. Um, as far as unrealis unrealistic expectations, I guess that would be in their own mind what, what they've expected and maybe Sort of like they thought maybe that they should go right into first Inter grade and yeah. kindergarten wasn't. And, uh, what wasn't enough? Wasn't just enough? It probably depends on where they're coming from preschool, too. Mm -hmm. If they've had um, a really academic preschool, um, I'm sure the parents would then expect a little bit more um, substance from the kindergarten program. But I think they're probably aware, it if, aware of it if they go into the school and get a taste of what's going on. Um, early on before they even go in for the screening, maybe go in and, and visit with your child. And I know there are some parent information centers in, in different schools now that can give the, the parents a lot of um, information of what kind of programs are run in the school. The, like the, the better communication that takes place Absolutely. at the very beginning. Early on, then yes. everybody's on the same wavelength in terms of expectations. Pretty and, much, I think. And even being aware of your game plan a little bit. Pretty much. Um, we do do, it, like I said, an orientation, and they, they get to see different things that the children would be doing during the year. And the best thing to do is to ask questions early on so that you do get your um, questions answered. And if you have any questions beyond that,